Okay. Okay, guys, guys, Dan the Wolfman, thecombatsystem.com. I'm going to talk to you about dealing with low kicks uh, on the street, below the waist kicks, meaning kicks to your legs, kicks to your knees, kicks to your groin. How to deal with that on the street. There's different ways, different than sport fighting. Okay, there's sport fighting ways, checking kicks. That's not necessarily what I would do in a street fight or instinctually. Okay, um, so to begin with, let's say someone kicks my leg and I'm not even in a stance. Remember, we have neutral stance, our everyday thing, and someone might just attack us. Uh, then we have our prepared stance, or non-confrontational stance, kind of a stance. And then we have any kind of MMA, Muay Thai, Karate, Taekwondo, whatever martial arts stance you want to take up. So, um, people don't usually kick on the street. I did have one guy kick at me on the street once. Uh, I think he front kicked towards my groin. I, I just instinctually defended up the center line because I had a bruise on like, my shin. I know I intercepted it. I'm assuming maybe he was kicked to the belly or chest, but where he just he just out of rage just came, came and kicked at me, and I blocked it. The guy, the guy ran away. Uh, it was in the street. I think I had been bouncing, and he came at me maybe after I got out of work or something like that, or maybe I talked my way out the door. I don't really recall it, but I do remember one time someone kicking at me on the street. So uh, anyway, let's deal with the outside round kick first. If he kicks at my my thigh here, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to intercept it with my knee. I'm going to knee destruction. Doesn't feel good, does it? We got shin pads on. So look at knee destruction, Kali. I have a video on that. Taught it years before uh, Chris Weidman did it to Anderson Silva, broke his leg in half. Um, so instead of like checking, I'm always going to be blocking uh, instinctually with my knees a lot. So even if I'm in no stance, go kick light. I'm going to meet it with my knee. Uh, if I'm in a prepared stance, same thing. I'm going to meet it with my knee. Boom, and fall into this right hand. Um, if I'm a fighting stance, same thing. Meet it with my knee, go into a 2-3-2. Two, two. I can do that in MMA. Instead of a full check and kick back or something like that. Uh, alternatively, maybe I'm here and a guy kicks at me on the street. I'm going to use the bottom of my foot. On the street, I usually got shoes on. I wear wrestling shoes when I do MMA training most of the time and grappling. So uh, even though you go rough and in pride, you kind of, the, the Russian style kickboxing fights kind of in the sideways pulling the lead hand. Uh, I don't like sideways stance for MMA. I think you should be front toes forward. But for guys that do box more, they're more boxing centric, uh, like Chris Lido or Nathan Marquardt, guys like that, they should check with the bottom of the foot. So if he kicks here, boom. So I might do that on the street. That's fine, okay? Uh, again, okay, and I might kick back at a support leg, whether I get it or not. Uh, one more, uh, come in same. And then I can side kick that support leg, possibly topple them down. Uh, so these are just ways of dealing with it. If it's an inside kick towards my leg, I'll need destruction towards that as well. Or better yet, again, slap, slap. Or better yet, wave energy, long hook, long hook. On the street, bam, bam, long hook, long hook. Okay, but I could even take them out with open hand slaps if I use wave energy. Now mostly someone on the street won't be tie kicking your leg. The outside kick could happen. MMA is popular enough now. You do see it in street fight footage occasionally, or like when guys challenge each other in parks and stuff like that. So you better be prepared. Uh, but most common is going to be the groin kick. The easiest thing to do is always just check up the center line. Just, just collapse. Just lock your knees in up the center line. Even if this is all I do, I'm just instinctually going to defend. Hey, we're talking, we're talking. The guy kicks in my groin. Boom. And see he's hopping around. I, gotta, I know what to protect is my goods, okay? So I block up the center line. See, in just one, and he's, he's hurting really bad. So this is kind of how you deal with low kicks uh, on the beginning phase. And then I can start to work it in towards other, you know, other stuff. Uh, if we're fighting, we're in an engaged fight, and the tie kicks at my leg, I'm going to kick him here, and then sweep him up here. So I'm going to do the loose leg defense. Spin it, oh, hyper accelerated, spin him around. Hyper accelerated, spin him around, and then try to sweep out one or both legs from there. Uh, I might even be able to do something like this. Okay. Now I went light because I'm not an expert at this yet, and I'm kind of worried about hurting my partner. But I check it with my back foot and how kick slide, kick to support leg. Like, Okay, so that takes a good amount of articulation. Um, but, you know, I could go here, here, I could. Uh, um, 
Uh, go ahead, Ron, kick it. Boom, I could just kick out the support leg. Don't be scared. Just kick light. Boom. And I could kick out the support leg, right? Here. And you kick out the support leg and collapse him to the ground because he's bent. Um, kick my leg. I can always chop down on him. Boom. That could have been an overhand right, knocking him in the face. Uh, kick hard, my leg. Boom, Ron. See, I can use his momentum against him. So, anyway, this kind of just opens your mind to other things that are possible uh, with dealing with low line kicks. And I will do another video on above the waist kicks. Um, the other thing I didn't address is side kicks and oblique kicks. Really oblique kick. If you oblique kicks, I'm going to point my knee. See, the kneecaps here never stand straight. This is what you don't want to happen. So if he kicks, I'm going to lift the knee and hopefully his foot goes underneath it and I'm going to fall into that right cross. Again, fall in, boom, two, three, two. Or if he leads side kicks, lead like side kick towards it, yeah, boom, boom. Say I'm going to go there. Or maybe he misses so bad on the street, it's something more like this and I go to sweep him, wrist lock him down, help, help him fall. Whatever the case is, I know where he's in. Maybe I pick up where he's aiming and just lift the target and fall towards it. Try that again. Fall. Again. Maybe I counter. Whatever the situation is, I just have to defend. This is how you do it. I'm down here. Okay, I'll make another video for it, by the way. Hope you like it. Look for part two. Thanks.